Today you're joining me on the floor of our break room as we show you guys how to manually prime a canister filter. So first off, what is a canister filter? A canister filter is a filter that has a canister that sits below the tank. It's typically enclosed in an aquarium stand. We have it here so you guys can see what we're doing with it. Um, and it is pressurized. So it has one hose that is the intake hose that's connected to the strainer inside the tank that comes out and into the filter. It has one hose that is the output hose that comes from the filter back to the tank. It will also sometimes be called a return hose because the water is returning to the tank. And this filter works great once it is primed. And when we say primed, what we mean is filled with water. These hoses should have water in it. The filter body itself should have water in it. And there should be no air. In order for this type of filter to work, there needs to be no air in any of these lines. It needs to be completely pressurized. Now, when the filter's running, it's gonna be under pressure, but when you take it apart to clean it, or when you're first installing it, it's gonna be filled with air and it's not gonna be pressurized. So we need to prime it and fill the filter with water before we're able to start the filter and get it going. Now, the way these filters are supposed to work is they should have a um, auto priming feature that is a button or plunger or lever built into the filter. So on this fluval filter, there is a little plunger here that you would normally move up and down repeatedly to prime the filter. Some others will have a button you press. Um, but one thing we get called about a lot is people who say, man, I am slamming that plunger up and down. I am wailing on that button and nothing's happening. Um, that's probably because your auto priming button or plunger has broken. They tend to get less effective over time and they can wear out. If yours has worn out in models like this fluval filter, you can replace the auto priming um, plunger and that can help make it work again because there are some parts in it that have rubber seals that can wear out. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna assume this is not working and we're gonna prime this filter old school. Um, without that feature, we're gonna do a complete manual prime. We're gonna assume that both the intake line and the return line have no water in them. Priming the filter is a lot easier if they have water in them. So if you've tried your priming button or leather and nothing is happening, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get water into the intake line where water is going into the filter. Once there's water in this line, it can make it a lot easier. So to do that, you first want to close the valve. In this fluval filter, it's closed by lifting this up. Some filters will have these two lines separated. The fluval has them together. And we're going to remove them from the filter. And I'm gonna open them over this bucket. You can see that there is no water in them or else water would be draining out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and um, suck on the intake line, which is this line here, and try to get it started with water. I know this is no fun, but it's the best way to get it started. So I'm gonna try really quick. And now some water's coming out. So I'm gonna close the valve. So it wasn't too hard. Just get your mouth out quick to avoid a mouthful of dirty fish water. Once you have water in the inline, I'm gonna reconnect the valve. So I'm gonna push the lever back down. Then I'm gonna open this up. And you can actually hear the water entering the filter. So I'm gonna assume that didn't work to give you guys one more step. So if that doesn't work where you have tried You have tried sucking on just that intake line and there is still not water in the filter. Um, one thing that can help is getting the return line where the water would go back to the tank and placing it below the level of the filter. So in this case, I have lowered it down into this bucket and now I'm gonna open up both valves. And what this should do is just like when you siphon water when you're doing a gravel vac, um, you got your um, one end of the gravel back in your reservoir, your bucket, your jug, and then the vac itself in the tank. Once you get the water over the edge, it's going to naturally prime. 
So we already have water over the edge. We're just gonna open up and let gravity pull it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the valve. I can hear the water entering the filter itself. And if we wait long enough, it should eventually come out of this line into the bucket. Sounds like it's about to come. And there it is, so I'm now gonna close the valve again. And now we're gonna put the line in place and plug in the filter. So now we're gonna take this return line. It's filled with water now, because we primed it. I'm gonna move it over to our aquarium and put it back in place. I'm gonna open up both valves again, and we are going to plug in the filter. And it immediately started right up. There is some bubbles coming out because that's just a little bit of air. And then one thing I like to do is just kind of tilt the filter a little bit to knock loose any little extra bits of air. They'll naturally come out on their own, but if you rock it a bit, it can kind of speed up how long it takes for those last air bubbles to come out. And your filter's primed. If you like what you saw today, stay tuned. You should have more helpful aquarium videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to marineandreef.com.